I'm sitting in my basement in Saltville, Virginia, and uh, thinking about the condition of the world that I live in. Um, I just got off of a chat, a FaceTime with a friend in China and uh, talking about the last year and all that has gone on. It's been, for us, a really strange year. Um, the 22nd of February will make a year that I have been in some type of movement and quarantine and rebuilding and coming back to um, to America from living for years in China. And I, I think about First Peter, and First Peter talks about those that are um, in the dispersion, those that are, are sent out into exile and they're dispersed around Asia. And... Um, Peter is, is talking about suffering and he's talking about how to uh, live with hope in the midst of suffering. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. It's so easy to become overwhelmed with events in the world. It's so easy to become overwhelmed by events in our lives and forget that this segment of life in which we find ourselves is just that. It's a segment. Our God and Father, our Creator, has prepared for us a place in heaven. We are children of God through Jesus Christ, and we have an imperishable hope that we will pass on to. Um, we're part of it now, and we see it dimly. But don't lose sight in these times. Know that this is just one segment of an eternal life that we have been given. And this is the testimony that God has given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He that has the Son has life. He that does not have the Son of God does not have life. We have it all. Those of us who know Jesus Christ, who have made the decision to become his disciples and to follow him, we have it all. And while we may suffer now, and we may deal with hardship now, Paul tells us, I have learned the secret to being content in all circumstance through the surpassing greatness of Jesus Christ. This suffering will end, and the glory that awaits us is a living hope that is beyond our ability to even fathom. Don't lose hope. Trust in God. Work through these times, the best is yet to come.